smartphone producer Vivo is a monster in its local China and other Asian business sectors. However, its presence is missed in a large part of the remainder of the world. Like opponents Xiaomi and Huawei it made a sub-brand, IQ, to carry its innovation to the majority at frequently less expensive costs. The IQ Neo 6 is an exceptionally strong phone with near lead specs or more normal execution for the asking cost. The design sticks out, the product is inconspicuous, and the primary camera focal point is truly fit. The phone is accessible now in India and China, yet it probably won't get an authority discharge elsewhere. That is a disgrace since a phone gives mid-range Realme, Samsung, and Oppo phones a run for their cash. I audited the Indian variant of the phone, which has the Snapdragon 870 while the Chinese model has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Design and Assemble Cool Variety Choices Matte Plastic Completion Opening Punch Selfie Camera the design of my Neo 6 survey unit would have been completely mediocre were it not in a Parma violet purple and blue blast that IQ is calling digital fury. Yet, there's nothing seething about amenable lilac tones change with the light. I think it looks perfect, and it contrasts 1 million dark junk phones. IQ has saved money on costs, and improved solidness by choosing plastic rather than glass on the back as well, a move more producers ought to make, especially like here, where it doesn't feel modest. The two long edges of the back are somewhat bended, which assists the phone with nestling easily in your grasp. The camera module is a stark square shape with three focal points and a blaze, with a detail beneath on a plastic strip that has the Neo marking on it. With no administrative imprints and a flawless silver IQ logo, this is a phone to purchase to stand apart from the group. The other variety choice is a more muffled dull Nova that is a dim greenish blue. Around the front is a less rousing undertaking. There's a natural dark bezel around the edge of the display with adjusted corners, and a solitary opening punch cut out for the forward-looking camera at the top. There's no headphone jack, and the USB-C port is flanked by a descending terminating speaker. And nano SIM opening. A volume rocker sits over the power button on the right-hand edge. Up until this point, so phone. In any case, purple. Display in sound. Level 6. 62 and OLED. 120Hz refresh rate. Sound system speakers. The Neo 6 has a major, brilliant 6, 62 in AM OLED screen that gets bounty splendid and is receptive to taps, swipes, and squeezes. I appreciate that it's level as opposed to bending at the edges. The screen doesn't go right to the edges yet the bezel didn't annoy me as it is exceptionally slight, and the four corners are adjusted flawlessly dissimilar to a few different phones I've tried. The in-display unique finger impression sensor is dependable and responsive. High refresh rate displays are extremely normal in Android phones now, which is perfect for yourself as well as your eyes. 60Hz was the smartphone standard for a really long time yet 120Hz on the Neo 6 duplicates that to make application movements, menus, and message scroll two times as smooth. You can pick 60Hz or 120Hz in the settings or choose IQ's brilliant switch programming that flicks between the two relying upon what you're doing. Utilizing 60Hz when things aren't moving cases to save battery duration. I had no misgivings with the board on the Neo 6 involving it as my fundamental phone for two or three weeks. I looked over Twitter, watched YouTube, and took photographs absent any real missing the displays of additional costly phones like the Google Pixel 6 Pro or Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Those phones improve screens yet taking into account the cost of the Neo 6 you're not passing up an excess of additional quality. The speakers are likewise very great, especially for paying attention to digital broadcasts or the radio or talking phones calls hands-free. The earpiece and down-terminating speaker utilized as a sound system pair and possibly twist when you wrench music through them noisily. In any case, given it ought to be against the law to play music at any volume from your phone, you could be stressed over that will you, dear peruser. It's perfect to see the phone guaranteed to play greetings res music, so on the off chance that you buy into a help like flowing or cabas you'll appreciate fair remote sound quality. One minor point is that in direct daylight you can see the secret encompassing light sensors and different sensors behind the display, something I haven't seen in that frame of mind of late. Specs and execution. Snapdragon 870. 5G. 8GB divided by 128GB, or 12GB divided by 256GB. The Neo 6 sparkles when you contrast the amount it costs with how well it performs. It is a mid-range evaluated phone that acts essentially as well as a lead phone that retails for two times or multiple times more. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 870 chipset is the greater part of the motivation behind why given it is a score underneath leader level nowadays. However, for the vast majority, myself included, it's needless excess. The processor is definitely more impressive than what the vast majority of us do on our phones in any case. It handles web-based entertainment, informing, photography, and video calls effortlessly.
It additionally implies the Neo 6 is a good decision as a gaming phone and has unpretentious considerations in the engine like a vibration motor that thunders along to interactivity. Camera 64 megapixel Samsung sensor No zooming focal point Programming ruins selfies A common characteristic among numerous fair mid-range phones is the presence of one very great camera focal point close by two not extraordinary ones. And a similar applies here. IQ has involved Samsung's 64 megapixel GW1P sensor for the primary focal point, and it produces extraordinary shots in sunshine. It's likewise used to trim 2x to emulate facts without a trace of a committed zooming focal point. Results are punchy thanks to HDR and optical picture adjustment. Indeed, even with man-made intelligence modes switched off, the product actually wrenches up the immersion so it's somewhat difficult to get consistent with life variety balance yet to the extent that Android point and shoots go. This is exceptionally strong. Assuming that you take a great deal of pictures of moving items like kids and creatures, be cautioned that shots frequently turn out somewhat foggy with any development. Programming pesters more while taking selfies with the 16-megapixel front camera. The product is set up with face thinning, brightening, coloring, and different other computer-based intelligence improving modes out the crate and it's an enormous aggravation to go in and turn them generally off. It's perhaps of the most irritating thing about the phone. Programming and Updates Android 12 Fun Touch Operating System is Strong Gaming Highlights IQ's Fun Touch Operating System wonderfully astonished me by not being excessively domineering. A few makers interfere with the presence of Android, even Google nowadays, and it very well may divert. IQ changes a couple of things about Android 12 each organization does, for example, where things are concealed in the settings application. Yet generally speaking, I found it a spotless and simple kind of Android having not utilized it much beforehand. There are some flawless programming contacts, for example, the game space application where you can see what games you have downloaded and how lengthy you've spent on them and the amount Wi-Fi or versatile information you've utilized playing them. I additionally like the in-game menu that can be gotten to swiping from the left that shows central processor and GPU strain, battery duration, and switches for battery saver adjusted in, amusingly, beast mode that wrenches the equipment as far as possible, battery in charging, 80-watt wired charging, no remote charging, the entire day endurance. One of the Neo 6's best highlights is its wired 80W charging speeds, which in my testing charged the phone from 0% to 88% shortly. Quick charging is turning out to be more regular on Android phones and it's one more motivation to go for the Neo 6. In the event that you're not in India or China, remember you'll need to purchase a fitting connector to utilize the package Quick Charger. You probably won't see top charging speeds along these lines. The Neo 6 handily endured an entire day of weighty use on its 4, 700 mAh battery, possibly plunging to perilously low levels when I'd been pounding vital mission at hand. All things considered, it tends to be a piece flighty. A 10-minute COD shootout just dropped the phone 4%, yet leaving the phone on Wi-Fi short-term saw it drop from 84% to 56%. Beneficial thing the charging is super quick.